Good day guys, being here. Um, previously we did a video about uh, demolished part of existing roof. So today I'm going to just do it, uh, do another one. Okay, so let's do it. So first, uh, let's create a project. And I'm going to, actually I'm going to show you a few different options. Okay, so first, so let's place a roof. So go to site plan and let's place a roof. So I'm just going to maybe roughly draw a roof like this. And also I want to demolish part of the roof. Maybe I'll just do a de some detail line. And I want to maybe I'll demolish uh, this part. Okay, so maybe do a rectangle. I'll demolish this part. I want to demolish demolish this part of the roof. Okay, so let's let's do it. So uh, so shade SD hidden line HL. So um, okay, so I'm going to just copy them. So and okay, so first first method. So the first method is. Um, it's actually it's not um, quite suitable because this shape so you will see this shape and once you demolish this part, shape, part of the roof it's 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 not that easy to create this roof by itself okay so imagine if I if if I, I only need to demolish so for example this part and then the left what the left this part is quite easy to create so okay so now so let's do it so let's pretend we're going to demolish this part of the roof so what i will do is i think i will just create instead of have one one roof i'll separate them okay so here so let me just oh yeah let me just select all of them change them to in existing okay so for this one i'm going to Control C first. So copy this roof and then edit footprint. I'll just drag this to here and I, I'll uncheck the define slope and finish it. So now you will see this is exactly uh, after after demolishing this part of the roof. So now we can just modify, paste, uh, aligned to same place. And then we will have still have the whole roof. So edit footprint. Just need to pick this line and trim, trim, and def uncheck the defined slope. Delete this part. Finish. So now you will see these are uh, two roofs. So let's go back to 3D view. So you will see uh, if I join them. So you will see exactly the same. But now you can demolish part of so make sure you change the face to existing and demolish in new construction and also because i joined these two roofs so you won't see the line between them so you can just unjoin okay and that's it so this is the first method so when uh, the the roof shape is easy to model so both part so you can use the first method the second one go to side plan so this time we're going to demolish this part and you will see this this roof is it's it's a bit hard to model by itself so the second method will be so you can use um, vertical opening so select this roof oh sorry no go to architecture so click on the vertical opening and pick pick this roof and then you can create a shape a sketch so for this is instance I'm going to just match this box finish and you will see if I go to 3d view you will see so that's the opening okay and also you can so if I if you move your cursor to the the where you cut the roof you will see this blue color and if you select it and there's a edit sketch so this um, you can edit the sketch so if you want to 
change change the opening okay so now we can go back to side plan so select this roof Control c and paste along to the same place so now we have two roof at the same location so you can go move your cursor back around here uh, it's a little bit hard to pick maybe oh because we have these detail lines to so go back to 3d view so move your cursor around here and edit so this time so what you can do is you can just drag this to there drag it to there oh hell maybe 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 we need to pick this line as well so make sure so just opposite the previous one so so this way instead of cut away this part this will cut away this part okay so now we have these two roof here and then same so if you join them it'll become one and then you can demolish this part or let me just change this to existing and demolish in new so and also you can um, join geometry so this is the second one second option and go to, let's go back to side plan so third option so this time so you can do this so you can go create a model in place Ma oh no mass uh, usually I will just use roof because uh, this is re uh, relative to roof and okay so okay so now I'm going to just create a void extrusion with this size and just make sure it's deep enough so what I'm going to do is I'll just finish this go back to 3d view and then just drag the handle make sure it covers the this part now before I click on finish model so go cut roof void okay and also uh, and then you can finish the model so now you will see it will automatically show as demolished and also um, if you click on the here so you will, you will be able to select this model in place mm, void and you will have this option so this is why it's showing demolished because this void is created in uh, in new construction okay so I think yeah this is this this is actually it's very simple let, let me just try to unjoin see if yeah you can do this okay so that's it um, so pretty much three different options so the first one first option is two separate uh, roof the second option is still um, two separate roof but using different method use a vertical opening okay the third method is just one roof just use a model in place void created in new construction phase and to cut the roof so that's it if you have any uh, if if you find a, a better a easier way please let me know okay thank you I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.